themselves for a run at team and individual medalist honors. Oh, look at this. All smiles today. That's Arizona's Ted Purdy. This morning he carted a 200 par 69 and then in the afternoon a 5 under 66 and that was good enough for a share of the lead. Purdy's playing partner is Stanford's Tiger Woods. This guy can do it all. Tiger very long off the tee. John Daly like and his short game is superb. Here saving par on number six with a delicate chip but Tiger hit into the drink twice on number 18 to fall two shots back of the lead. There is a load of talent out there, including some future PGA stars. Sometimes they, they have more confidence than you like them to have, but that's a good thing. The, all the great players always are very confident about what they do. Most of them, when they get out of college or by the time they're seniors, will learn how to play the game rather than just hit the ball. And when they learn how to do that, they move on to the next level, which is usually one of the tours. So after two rounds of play, Arizona holds the team lead six strokes better than Stanford. Individually, it's Purdy and Burke Nelson of Oregon State sharing the lead heading into tomorrow's third and final round. Had a great game tonight between a couple of top ten powers. And Best collegiate golfers are in Tucson this week for the Ping Intercollegiate. Wildcats hosting their first tournament at the new Raven Golf Course on the city's northeast side. They played 36 holes today. 18 more tomorrow. Leading the field is two-time U.S. Amateur Champion Tiger Woods. He plays for Stanford. Woods went out and shot a 300 par 68 in today's first round and closed out his day with a 69 in round two. Tiger Woods in a tie for third place going to the last day at the Ping Intercollegiate. But Woods trails Arizona's Ted Purdy, who put together rounds of 69 and 66. Purdy says Woods is something quite special on the golf course. He's definitely at a different level. He can hit the ball tremendously far. He uh, has the patience of a, of a tour player, and that's what it takes. I mean, he's got everything it takes, uh, but again, uh, he's human, so uh, there's no reason I can't win or anybody else can't win. Purdy and the Wildcats have the overall team lead by six shots. Purdy is tied with Oregon State's Burke Nelson, just two shots ahead of Woods. They play 18 more holes tomorrow at Raven. Well, some fun and games planned for tomorrow night when the National Hockey League at the Ping Intercollegiate. Arizona took the team title. Ted Purdy won the individual crown. All the action at Arizona's new home course, the Raven. 14 of the top teams in the country competing in the event. As Tiger Woods, the two-time U.S. amateur champ, missing the birdie putt. The Stanford star fared better on 17. He sank the bird. Final round 69. He came in second place at 7 under par. But no one kept pace with the Wildcats' Ted Purdy. His putter was going today. He sank the birdie putt on number 5, 4 under par. Did it again on 17, a 25-foot downhill putt. He'll get it to drop in. He was at five under par. Purdy was hot. He closed with another short birdie putt. Final round of 65 for Ted Purdy. He was 13 under for the tournament, and he wins this. I just played great. I was uh, unconscious with the putter, and uh, it was fun. I, I, this is great to win in Tucson, my you know, home city. Uh, the fans were great. I mean, we had a big gallery. Uh, Tucson has supported the U of A for so long. It's, it's fun to, to win for them and, and for our, our program and school and everything. It's, it's great. It is great. And looking at the top scores for the tourney, Purdy wins by six shots over Tiger Woods. And as a team, the Wildcats ran away from the pack. They win by 14 strokes. Club some of the top college squads in America taking to the course to try their luck over the final 18 holes. Look at that. Tiger Woods, Ted Purdy, those were the two everyone talked about today. Ted Purdy, though, ran away with it. Nailed the bird on number 12 to go four under. Tiger Woods had some problems today as he pursued Purdy in front of a large gallery all day long. Missed that putt there. Purdy just too much as he went after his first college title ever. He saved par on 15. The nice shot out of the stand, sand. Then check this out on 16, the monster putt. He wins going away at 13 under par. You know, I just played great. I was uh, unconscious with the putter, and uh, it was fun. I, I, this is great to win in Tucson, my, you know, home city. Uh, the f fans were great. I mean, we had a big gallery. Uh, Tucson has supported the U of A for so long. It's, it's fun to, to win for them and, and for our, our program and school and everything. There's a look at the final team scores, or we should say Arizona won it by several strokes over Stanford, their first team title since the 92 NCAAs. Now let's head back out. Ping Arizona Intercollegiate Golf Tournament wrapped up the third and final round today at Raven Golf Club. And what a showing by the Wildcats. The Cats of Rick LaRose posted a whopping 
14 stroke victory over the Stanford Cardinal with Texas, Tulsa, and Southern Cal, the next uh, three teams in line. Individual medalist honors go to Arizona's Ted Purdy, who ran away from the field, beating Stanford's Tiger Woods by six strokes. One of the longest running events. Next. And a Sports and Bud's missing a good day of golf. Yeah, I, I think he might have snuck some in today. But I'm it, sure he did. Boy. It was a good day for golf and good day to be on the Arizona golf team. The Arizona Ping Intercollegiate, always an interesting event or tournament. Some of the top college golf talent around gathered in one place to slug it out for top honors. Let's head out to final round action. The Raven Golf Club, nice gallery on hand to watch Arizona's Ted Purdy and Tiger Woods at Stanford. Here's Purdy's approach on 12, and it is Purdy. This is a par three hole. Look at this tee shot. Oh yeah, just a few feet from the hole. He would own this day. He would roll in that putt right here for the birdie. Rolled it around. He was at six under par for the day. How about Tiger Woods? The two-time national amateur champ was on the green. Just couldn't nail the putts. And to show you how serious these guys take golf and uh, when those putts don't go in, the emotion from Tiger Woods just wants to slam it out of there, but he'll tap it in. Meanwhile, Purdy. Again, uh, a great day out of the sand to save par on 15, one of those days. Then following that up on 16, the monster putt, the putt of the day to get the birdie. He wins going away at 13 under par. The Cats get top team and individual arms. The goal is to have fun out here, and I've changed my attitude to wanting to win to to, I'm going to have the best time I can out here, and that's what I'm doing. He kept his composure. He, he really had a good attitude going, and he had that uh, new ping dancer putter, and uh, I think every time he struck it, he said, thanks, Karsten. So he had, he had a great week. And yeah, look at that smile. Let's take a look. Here are the top three teams from the days. You can see Arizona easily. The college golf tournament at the Raven Golf Club. Some of the top college squads in all of America taking to the course to try their luck over a final 18 holes. Boy, there's the twosome hot Ted Purdy of Arizona Stanford's Tiger Woods in a big duel. It was all Ted Purdy, though. He had the hot putter today. Six under par today in front of a nice-sized gallery. Woods on the greens with no problem, but just couldn't make the putts. Purdy with the putt of the day. Call it Purdy, if you will. On 16, the long birdie will eventually fall. Boy, did he have a terrific day today. He wins his first collegiate tournament while at Arizona. Let's take a look at the overall team scores now. Look at that. Wow. Arizona just hammering Stanford by 14 strokes. By the way, that is Arizona's men's golf team's first title since winning the 1992 NCAA tournament. On to the ice tonight in Tucson. You want hockey? National Hockey League general managers. Some of them skated in a benefit game at the Isoplex. The GM's helping raise money. At the Ping Intercollegiate, the Cats won the team title, and Arizona's Ted Purdy won the individual crown. Let's go to Raven. That's Tiger Woods, the two-time U.S. amateur champ at 17. The birdie he would finish at 7-under. But Woods could not catch Ted Purdy. He was on fire. The 20-footer down the hill. It rolls and it rolls and it rolls right in the cup. He was five under for the day. Then it's Purdy at number 17 from the fringe. Everything going his way. Watch this one roll and drop in. That would save par. Closes out the day of the 65. Another birdie at 18. He wins the ping intercollegiate. 13 under for three rounds. Playing alongside Tiger Woods was a motivating factor. It gives you confidence knowing that you're, you're playing with the best in the best amateur in the, in the world. And... Uh, and to be able to, to play shot for shot and beat them is what a confidence booster. It's a lot of fun. And looking at the top scores for the tourney, Purdy wins by six strokes over Tiger Woods. And as a team, Arizona ran away from the pack. They win by 14 shots over Stanford. But again, the Sun's playing quite well. Barkley, 35. And, yeah. uh, he was a happy man. He was, he was very it. happy, very happy. Thank you, Dave. Wake Up Weather's next.